The basic idea of crisscross doodle is to draw a shape without lifting your pen from the paper where the places that the lines touch cross at a distinct angle and then at the end, the ends of the lines meet. Um, there can be interlocking shapes using those same principles. And the lines need to, um, need to meet at an angle. So the loops aren't like that or, um, or, like, or like that. No. They can be loose like that or, um, or if something a little more controlled or small feels better to you. That is also great. And you can do stuff like that under your headphones forever. Okay, the next step is to color. So I'm gonna do another one that's a little smaller to show you. So one of the great things about crisscross doodle is that it forms a checkerboard pattern. So you can um, get lost in your colors, filling in that pattern. You can use colored pencils. I'm a big fan of colored pencils or watercolors or always markers uh, and on like that and you can fill it all in in one color or you can use multiple colors and that's pretty much crisscross doodle I'll show you a, a couple of mine so um, this is um, thin pencil lines with the all one color um, crisscross, the um, checkerboard pattern on uh, watercolor paper. So it has a little more texture. For this one, I just, I got really into doing the lines and decided to, um, to skip the color. Um, this is in my sketchbook. got really into the colors in those. I have another one in here like that. But you know, it doesn't, it doesn't have to be elaborate or fancy. I, I do crisscross doodle in just shapes in my sketchbooks. Just listening to music or a podcast under my headphones maybe with a delicious beverage, and it's really, really satisfying and relaxing. So that's crisscross Doodle.